Nope, but now Jewish people own the word they. Shockingly, shockingly, headlines came out and people accused him of being horrifically anti-Semitic. Look at this. Actor Jamie Foxx posts horrifically anti-Semitic message to his 16.7 million followers. Horrifically anti-Semitic post? What are we even talking about? Hi, back again. This time, I'm even shocked that I find myself posting something in agreement with Candace Owen. Now, we would probably never agree on anything else, but on this issue, I agree with her entirely. Black men need to stop apologizing for things they didn't say and didn't do. In the case of Jamie Foxx, he was speaking on a personal matter and it was how his words could be interpreted as being anti-Semitic is beyond me. Kyrie didn't actually say anything. He posted a video that somebody else made that Amazon still continues to sell to this day. And he was accused of being anti-Semitic. And both of them apologized. Well, Jamie apologized. He clearly apologized. Now, I understand that Jamie is just recovering from a life-threatening illness, from what we understand. And so I'm wondering if they couldn't kill him literally, were they going to try to kill him metaphorically? To put out that he was anti-Semitic? That's quite a low blow, especially in given his occupation and the things that he depends on for his livelihood. Now, they weren't able to defeat Kyrie. In the final analysis, he had enough support from the grassroots so that he was able to come back and recoup his career and to actually get himself out of the New York area. Neo said what he thought. He had an opinion. He expressed his opinion. Now, last I heard, everybody was entitled to an opinion. In fact, you know the old saying, opinions are like, ooh, everybody has one. And in this case, Neo had one. And so they came for Neo and said he was anti-trans and so, or transphobic, I guess is the word that they use. And so Neo apologized, but then he thought about it and said, wait, 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 wait. That was my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. And so I'm going to stand by my opinion. And I support him in his effort to do that. And I hope that at some point, this wave of people standing on their own personal truths will continue. I hope that Neo is the first of many who will say, you can come after me if you want to, but my truth is my truth. In the same way that you believe your truth is your truth, in the same way that you believe that you're entitled to choose whatever, pronouns you want to be represented by, I stand by the fact that I, as a parent, will not allow my child to, to participate. Seems to me that that's fair. What's good for the goose is certainly good for the gander. Okay, well, that's it. I'm going to let you listen to the rest of what Candace had to say, because I think it's really fascinating. Okay, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Was there any anti-Semitism here? Was there any transism? I don't even know what you call it. Was there any transphobia, I guess it's called, in any of these situations? Leave me a like. Please subscribe. And until next time. Nope, but now Jewish people own the word they. Shockingly, shockingly, headlines came out and people accused him of being horrifically anti-Semitic. Look at this. Actor Jamie Foxx posts horrifically anti-Semitic message to his 16.7 million followers. Horrifically anti-Semitic post? What are we even talking about? The word they means more than one person. Um, I, I know the story of Jesus Christ. I do believe that more than one person killed Jesus Christ. So are we no longer allowed to say that? When did the ADL purchase that word? It's an absurdity. On top of this scandal, Jennifer Aniston, whether she accidentally liked it or if somebody that was posing as Jennifer Aniston liked this post, 
They saw that there was a Jennifer Aniston that liked this post, and they came to eat her, too, because how dare you? This must be Jennifer Aniston is anti-Semitic. Nope. And Jennifer Aniston immediately then offered an apology, an apology for something she never did, because God forbid she now be tagged as anti-Semitic for the original thing that wasn't even anti-Semitic. Jennifer Aniston wrote this. This really makes me sick. I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. And more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends and anyone hurt by this showing up in their feeds that I do not support any form of anti-Semitism. And I truly don't tolerate hate of any kind, period. Oh, so glad you included the period. Now it really clears things up. Jamie Foxx obviously immediately folded to pressure. And he then published this. (laughs) I want to apologize to the Jewish community and everyone who was offended by my post. I now know my choice of words have caused offense, and I'm sorry. Oh, looks like he went to re-education camp. <laughs> Got to be careful when you use the word they. He goes on, that was never my intent. To clarify, I was betrayed by a fake friend, and that's what I meant with they, not anything more. I only have love in my heart for everyone. I love and support my Jewish community. My deepest apologies to anyone who was offended. Nothing but love always, Jamie Fox. So he had to clarify what was already clear in the post because he used the hashtag fake friends (laughs) and he used a reference to Jesus Christ who was killed by they, a group of people, because a fake friend sold him out. But yes, Jamie Foxx had to actually apologize. And lucky for Jamie Foxx, Jonathan Greenblatt of the ADL was willing to accept the apology so that, you know, he wasn't going to get further canceled. You know, he speaks on behalf of all Jews because he uses the word we, and he wrote this on Twitter. He wrote... We welcome I am Jamie Foxx's apology and thank him for his clarification. Furthermore, we wish him well as he recovers from his prior hospitalization. He then doubled down and said, I truly appreciate Jamie Foxx reaching out and confirming privately what he also said publicly. His message of love for the Jewish community is crucial in this time of rising hate. We are stronger together. Oh, so that's what happened. Uh, Jamie Foxx apologized for absolutely nothing. And fortunately, Jonathan Greenblatt allowed him to said, you can keep your career. Oh, Jonathan Greenblatt, by the way, he's the guy that sent Kyrie Irving, where he sent the link of a documentary to watch that was freely available for people to watch on Amazon. He's the one that gave him the list of things he would have to do to be welcomed back into the NBA, <laughs> which I don't think Kyrie Irving ever did it. But it's that guy. Basically, if you'd still like your career, I will tell you whether or not we accept your apology for the nothing that you did. It's disgusting. It's despicable. And Jamie Foxx should not have apologized because it's not what he meant when he said it. Men, stop apologizing for it. Your words are meaningless if you don't actually mean it. You didn't do the thing. So how could you mean the apology? Neo, you obviously. 